we got a call for a razor that has rolled over multiple times. They were on the honeymoon trail near the top and somehow went over the edge. He's there alone. I'm headed out there as quick as I can just to make sure that he's okay. I don't have anybody to give the weather but myself. It's a nice day out there. We've got Tom Tom. Uh, he was out and about so he had to run home and get his truck. He's following me up because I need a cameraman. I can't do this. I don't have enough talent to do this by myself. So he's hurrying up here and then I don't know what condition the razor's in. So we might... All right, Tom Tom is behind me about 40 minutes and I don't know how far Hefe is, I haven't heard from him. But we are here at the top of the honeymoon trail. So we just got a call from Matt. He asked us to grab blue steel and a trailer and meet him at the top so we can haul it out of there. By we, I mean me and of course the other B team member, this guy. Hi. We're not going up Honeymoon Trail with the truck and trailer. We're gonna go around, go up the top side and meet Matt at the top. Should be all gravel road, pretty easy going. Matt's up there by himself. Wait, he is? And he, he'll get him out and we'll meet him there. We've been on this trail quite a bit. We've done a few rescues on this trail. We've rescued Jillian on this trail, in fact. It's, it's a treacherous trail. It doesn't look that bad in the camera. You just can't see what's happening here. But this is not a trail for everybody. Even if you have the right, like the right kind of rig, like a razor, like what we're gonna go get, doesn't mean that you're gonna make it through this trail okay. All right, I just spotted the gentleman right there. And there's his razor down there. So it looks like he's up and about, so that makes me happy. I'm gonna see if we can get this out of there. Mark. Where's your YouTube guys? Brownie's gonna give me for weeks. <laughs> All right, so were you headed up or down? I was headed up and I was here just last week and I thought I had this down, but obviously, the uh, extra rain this week. If you go over right here, you can see that right here, and I wanted to get a little better angle to get away from that, and I backed up, and I'm like, oh, the rocks are giving away. Then I went. We got a tire off the bead. Not a big deal. All right, I think. We're just going to post up, up there and just like that. everything up. You gotta, go, you gotta come straight up this way? Or? Yeah, we're gonna pull it right up back onto the road. Okay, okay. That's a lot of work, working by yourself. gonna throw some of this debris in here and we'll pull it up the hill. We've got a Makita Bluetooth speaker. Turn them off and on. Hold on, I gotta take a lunch break.
Originally, we were supposed to bring a rollback out here, and Matt texted us and said, do not bring a rollback, bring blue steel in the trailer. Emphasis on do not. And this is why. It is a muddy mess. Tom Tom finally showed uh, up in Dig Dug. What do you think, up this? Yeah, just pull, just pull it up here. Let's get him pulled out of the way. We got a big old traffic jam. Okay. There they are, the very same tires. Those are good tires. just a tiny bit of momentum and you'll be done so back it up okay just roll through that with like like three or four miles an hour well that's the difference between lockers and no lockers luckily these razors don't weigh too much I, I guess it's a can-am somebody's gonna tell me it's got is there a difference like i mean from a recovery standpoint it's it's down upside down it's about the size of a razor it looks like a razor it smells it, like a razor it came out just like a razor can i please call it a razor it's like like hey i'm eating this bowl of peas it's a legume <laughs> what do i call peanuts now snickers has got legumes milk chocolate nougat Le legume caramel and, and legumes <laughs> This is 50 inches wide. Yeah. So we want to be kind of careful what we're doing right now because they're not as stable as the wider ones. Put your driver's license on. My goodness. Is that wheel against something funny? It's on the rock. It's on the right side of the rock. And you're right on the rock. Yep. It's generally accepted and known, and I'm okay with it, that Tom is smarter than I am. But what's the problem you're having right now? I'm running out of gas. I went to the first pin and I was like, I got enough gas to get there. And then I got a second pin. And then I'm like, oh, it's a little bit further than that pin. We'll tow you out. Let's not bother him. I, right. I need him to get we here We got quick. gas for a while. All right, well, can you hop in that thing? Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. We're just, all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pull this up and you're gonna try to get it in a place where people can get us around it. So I'm just gonna back straight up that thing right. so these good people can get past you. Hug the left side. Well, I'll drive as far as I need to. Okay. Gentle, gentle throttle. Turn that way. You're in low range. 
gotta trust me, man. I mean, to fall off, not to get through it. That's I, I, tough. I learned a lesson though. Backwards is not always the best thing. Were you in reverse? I did the same thing, and I went back to get a better angle, and then the rocks gave way, and boom, I went. Oh no! You see your tire on that ledge. Yep. This far of a drop, that would have that would have fixed you. So, all right. Well, we're gonna get in front of this and pull it up. So what's extra tricky about this is the downhill side. Also has a flat tire on the heaviest corner. So all of the lines that you pick need to be stellar. All right. Make it so if you go off the road, you're not coming. Yeah, that'll be good. surprised that it's in this good of shape for how far down it went. It must have rolled multiple times to get down there and it's still together. We're not running it, we're keeping the engine off because we don't know what's happened if it's got oil or anything, but it's surprisingly together still for what it went through. I'm so glad you guys all showed up. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Bridger, Hefe, and Rhett. That was solo. When I when I showed up by myself, you should have seen the look on his face. He's just like, hmm. <laughs> Does Roddy have one? Do I need to bribe him? I, I, I think it's time we come back to Schultz's and, and uh, load everybody back up with shirts. Did you guys bring out any gas? Tom's out of gas. <laughs> Matt reassured me you'd have plenty of gas. And you ran out. I'm not totally out. I'm just, I'm embarrassed Holy to say God. it, but my gas gauge doesn't work quite right. All right, so everybody came to my rescue, even though they came out of gas, some of them. So we're gonna send Mark here down the road with Hefe and Rhett. We're gonna go back and get Tom Tom's truck, and we're going to see if we can make it to town on the fuel that he has. But we're going down the honeymoon trail instead of out across the antelope road all right let's see if it'll work all right remember that the off-road record games are march 9th 10th and 11th so you can head on over to mattsoffroadadventures.com for tickets and pricing and some other things we've got an awesome lineup of drivers and we've got an awesome lineup of judges it's going to be a good time come out and see us there it is going to be a good time i can't wait we got to get this going 
Tom, what are you doing? I'm working on the wrecker. Right now I'm greasing it, so this thing will be ready to roll. So we got a call for a truck that is stuck in the mud out here, kind of south side of Hurricane. I think they're in like a subdivision or something. Well, we're gonna head out here, see if we can get them out. Hey, it's like 40 degrees outside, a little rainy, a little cloudy. Not bad. It's been raining a lot lately, so everything's wet and people are getting stuck, which keeps us busy. But we'll get them out. So Tom, we've got a problem. Nobody's been inventorying the vehicles. So what do we got in the back? One 20 foot rope. Okay. So we can try it. got a 20 foot rope we somehow got away from the shop without our 30 footer which is our like workhorse and every time you stretch a rope it takes them a little bit to relax and the 30 footers you can hit them over and over again because there's just you know 33 percent more rope this 20 footer i can tell that it's how's it going in there lizzie it's good you're just churning in the mud here Have you been out here digging for a while? Yeah, I've been trying to get it with a backhoe. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> and I just got deeper and deeper. <laughs> that is just unbelievable. I, I would never, I, I thought I was here till spring at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna need a little wash, but it's loose. <laughs> you know what, it's, that is washing off. It's better than being in five feet of mud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty deep hole. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to dry out. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some rock. I'm going to fill that in. I don't want that to happen again. No, no. So Matt hasn't stopped talking about these mud fenders since he put them on. And it's been raining so much. They have been awesome. They've kept the windshield totally clear. Really excited to be using these. Okay, okay. got to put it on. I am a fan. <laughs> Thanks again. Hey, hey, thank you. Good to meet you. All right, we got there, and uh, I wasn't too optimistic because, like I said, we had a our 20 foot rope in there. The 30 foot is in the back of blue steel. We put it there because it was all muddy and it never made it back into here. Yeah, he got enough speed up to yank that thing out. It was stuck in there good, so it took a couple of hits, but the customer was super happy to get out of there. So good think, job. 
I think we made progress with every hit. Yeah, I was filming up front and it did. It bounced it. You know, you'd make like a foot at a time. Those are heavy trucks. It was a Duramax and so it was a heavy diesel in the mud and so it kind of gets a lot of force to get them going, but the more of air pulled them out. Thanks for watching. Looks like Tom Tom made it without running out of gas.